All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create barcodes using the faux memo and then being able to scan them with this barcode scanner. This barcode scanner is really great and it works with the Square app. This one's good for phones, tablets, iPhone and computer. So wherever you are and with whatever device you have that has access to Square, you can use this scanner. Also, what you'll need are these labels, jewelry labels. They basically look like this and you can put anything on there. What I do is I go to items and then I create an item. This one's gonna be called triple chip bracelet. And then here when we have SKU, that's where you wanna add your SKU for your barcode. I usually start it off as B for bracelet, N for necklace, and so on and so forth. So this is a bracelet, so I'm gonna do a B. Then I'm gonna add a dash. So I like to keep my SKU number very small, nothing more than seven letters. And I'm gonna do triple chip. So I'm gonna put B bracelet dash triple chip and I'm going to put lapis lazuli. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six letters, so that's good. So I'm gonna save that. Well, I'm gonna add variations because I have more than that. All right, so now that we're all set with our variations and also creating those SKUs for our barcodes, we're going to go ahead now and talk about the faux memo and the app that comes with it. So this is a faux memo. This is a label maker and I love it. I use it all the time. You can create all sorts of labels for this. Basically, this comes with an app and I'm gonna show you what it is. It's called Printmaster. You're gonna download it and it looks like this now there's different ways to add a label you know the label that you'll buy so it'll come in a box like this and what's great about it is they have this barcode here that you can scan so where it says scan you're going to click that button and you're going to scan it and here it goes this is actually the small one that I like to use on these labels and put the sticker on here. So this is how it looks. But for today, we're going to use this one right here. So once you get the box for your labels, the easiest way is to scan that barcode and it'll get you to here. I like to add text and put the name of my business. There's so many different ways that you can do this. Then a barcode and press on that. Now what we're gonna do is use the code 128. They have different codes here for you if you wanna use those type of codes. We're gonna go to square and you see all these SKUs. We're gonna make barcodes for that. So I copied it, I copied it. And then I'm gonna go back to the print master and paste. And then I'm going to press that check button and it generated a barcode for us. With this, I like to add it to there like that. I like to go to text again and include a price. I'm gonna put 25 and put it right here. Actually, so I put it here. I think I like it here like this. Okay, so we added our barcode, we added our price, and we added our name here. So now we are ready to print it. So let's go over here and arm our faux memo. We're gonna add our labels to this. And we're going to put it in here this way, the paper facing up. We're gonna remove this and we're gonna add this in here. This arrow is telling you this is gonna go up. Now you want to add this the same way with the arrow facing up. So then we're going to put it in here, feed it a little bit of paper. Not too much because then it'll remove too much of that label. Try to keep this in here as much as possible so you don't waste a lot of the labels. Let's go over here and print our label. We're gonna press print. Only want one copy, actually we want two. And we're gonna print now. And it's printing. 
Okay, it's ready. It's gonna look like this. Doesn't it look great? I love it. So we're gonna take whatever jewelry piece that you have, fold it over, and we're going to attach it to wherever you want it to be. So I'm gonna add it right here. Take this piece, and then we're gonna fold it onto itself. And there you go. We made a little label for our jewelry. We're gonna go ahead and use our barcode scanner just as if we we're checking out a customer. We're gonna turn it on because it's not connected, but turn it and on, you have to press on this button. You're gonna hear that noise and you know it's on. So now this barcode scanner HID should be able to connect to this specific iPad. All right, so we're now connected. You're gonna go to library and you're gonna go on this search tab. Then you're going to grab that item and you're going to scan it. It's going to automatically, it's gonna read it. So now you're gonna click on that product that shows up, add it to your cart or add it to their cart and it read it beautifully. So now when you wanna add a new item that they have, you wanna X out and let's just say they want this one as well, okay? So let's, we're here. We're gonna arm this search uh, tab here. So we are gonna go ahead and scan this one and it's gonna read it. We have that there. So then you have two items on your cart and you are going to check out. So that is pretty much it when it comes to creating a barcode. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, please let me know. All the products that I'm using here, uh, all the links are down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.